What is good everyone and welcome back You are seeing on the screen another Madden 22 No wait, 23 You know what it be And we are cranking these videos out now I am going out of town over the weekend So I'm going to try to get another video out for you guys And then another one So maybe two more this week At least one And then next week we're going to get some more videos out And then my cousin's coming in town, so I'll be busy again, but you know what I'm saying. We're going to keep these videos coming. We're going to keep the grind going, and we are doing Face of the Franchise. Now, I know you guys have probably seen a million of these by now. Every single Madden YouTuber, every single person that has played Madden has done Face of the Franchise, so I know you know what's good about the game mode. So I'm not going to waste too much time. I'm going to simulate, well, not simulate, but like fast forward through most of this because... What's the point of showing something you already seen? But you are going to see the creation of the next Lamar Jackson. Yes, that's going to be me. Lamar Jackson is my favorite quarterback in the NFL because I am a Baltimore Ravens fan. So I was like, you know what? Let me emulate. M -M -U, emulate? Emulate. That's the word. Emulate Lamar Jackson and try to recreate his MVP season. And, you know what I'm saying, hopefully take my team to the Super Bowl because he could not take the Ravens to the Super Bowl that year unfortunately but you guys are seeing dreads all day I gotta go with the dreads now I have like a you know what I'm saying no more buzz like a, just a fade you know what I'm saying but I gotta go with the dreads in the game that would be fresh I'm black obviously my hair is black obviously my eyes are brown I would not say obviously but obviously and my number is four so we'll get to that now my name is Andre Anderson as you guys know but I'm gonna go with Dre Drizzle as you know me by for the most part so we're going with dre first name last name drizzle on the back of the jersey number four i'm right-handed it's going to be lit man it's going to be fire make sure you guys do smash that thumbs up uh button by the way i was going to say smash the thumbs up video that makes no sense smash the thumbs up button subscribe to the channel collabs on the way next week with your boy onto the well onto is coming up i got collabs also coming up soon but next week is a k I call him Eli. I always say it feels weird saying K, but y'all know him by KKS. So KKS collab next week. Onto the Boss coming very soon. I don't know why I call him Onto. I just call him Onto. Not Onto the Boss, but you know what I'm saying. It's going to be very, very fire on the channel. Now, like I said, Lamar Jackson recreation. So I'm going to be agile just like him. Now, I am 5'10", 180. I'm not 5'. I'm 5'10", 180 pounds. So that's like exactly me right there e exactly what i'm built like like a beast you know what i'm saying and all this stuff right here doesn't really matter to be completely honest like am i gonna get more stats from having you know what i'm saying swole arms and you know a swole chest now i do got bird you know what i'm saying bird calves like i got i got chicken legs i ain't gonna lie to y'all not terrible actually it's not, it's not that bad you know i've been doing calves i've been doing some squats and i've been doing uh, some leg raises all that stuff so my legs aren't that bad, but it could be a little bit better. I've been trying to work on them. But you guys are seeing right here. Like I said, we are going to be a quarterback. And we're going to have to figure out what team. First, what team wants us. But then second, after that, what team we're going to go to. Wait, that makes... Okay, so what team wants us? And then from there, yeah, what team we're going to go to. And it has to be a team that we think we can start right away. On top of all that, you guys have seen right here. So these are like the new skill points. It's a lot different this year I'm seeing. So you're gonna be able to upgrade the player with these like, I guess, skill points. Right now we start off as a 73 overall, which is terrible, garbage. But it makes sense because we're just starting off. We do have to, you know what I'm saying, turn up throughout the season to get these skill points to build our player up. I need to be a 99. I need to enter the 99 club. But with all that being said, let's jump into some cutscenes. Just a couple cutscenes, not too many, just a couple. And let's see who wants your boy. Can you make sure you send over the revised contract so we can take a look? Yeah, absolutely. I'll send them right over. <laughs> Thanks, Maria. No problem. Take care. Hey, sorry to keep you waiting, man. <laughs> you're a busy man. I'm trying to take care of my people. And right now, you're my number one priority. All right. So what you got for me, Sosa? Well, <sighs> It's like we talked about. Rosters are just about filled at this point, but you're still in a great position. For the right number, just about every team in the league will want to have you. You've shown flashes of greatness over the last few years, 
And everybody knows if they bring you in, there's nothing but upside. Oh, man, if it was nothing but upside, we'd have more than these one-year proof deals, though. Well, your playing time hasn't been consistent over your first four years. So they're not trying to commit long term. That's all right. No matter how we look at it, it's nothing more than an opportunity, right? Exactly. You get to live in whatever city you want for a year. You can choose to prioritize immediate playing time or look for whatever team has the best scheme fit for you. There's upside no matter where you go. Hmm. I guess that's how I should look at this process too then, right? Okay, so what's everyone trying to offer? All right, so here is the list. And once again, yes, it is sped up. So don't think, dang, it's moving quick. It's sped up. So you are seeing on the board the teams that want me, the teams that don't want me. And there are a lot of teams that don't want me, but the Colts want me 100%. A, they want me as an A. Like that means I am a top priority for them. But I'm looking at two things. One, what team wants your boy? And two, how much money am I going to make? Now, you guys are seeing right here, they're offering me 6.9. No, the Giants are offering me 6.7 million. Now, that's a lot of money. 6.7 million dollars. Um, and I'll be in New York. I can move to New York for 6.7 million dollars. Live in a nice little condo. You feel me? You know, maybe downtown Soho or something. Near all the, you know what I'm saying? All the cool spots. Go to games. Go to practices. That'll be cool. The Seahawks want me as well. I can move to Seattle. They're going to pay me. How much is Seattle going to pay me? The Vikings want me. They have Kirk Cousins and they want me. That's strange. But 7.1 million from Minnesota Vikings. The Seattle Seahawks are offering me 7.26 million dollars for this one year contract. I think that is something that I'm gonna have to take. Even though the Colts want me as well. A good dynamic of DK Metcalf and myself, I think could be the dynamic duo to take over the league. Two young stars, two athletic stars, two fast, beast, strong, everything. Overall just studs. So I'm going to accept the $7.26 million deal from the Seahawks. And with that being the case, just like that, your boy is signed. I am now officially a Seattle Seahawk. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. I'm excited to get started. Yeah, I'll catch you later though. Just the man I've been waiting for. Oh, hey, uh, I'm... <laughs> I know who you are, that's my job, but you don't know me yet. I'm Andy Kisner, Director of Player Personnel. Oh, nice to meet you, Andy. Likewise. We're really happy to have you in the building. Thank you. I'm ready to get to work, though. Love the culture you guys have here. I think it's going to be a great fit. Well, that's our belief, too. So look, we've got a lot to do today, so we got to get moving. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Coach Carter. Hey, Miss AK. So, you probably already know this. It's not like you're a rookie or anything, but as director of player personnel, I take great pride in making sure my players are taken care of on and off the field. Ticket requests, community outreach opportunities, travel plans, anything you can think of, I can help with it. I'm here for you. Okay, bet, I appreciate it. Like I said, the culture here was a big part of my decision. Well, it's not just me, it's throughout the entire organization. So let's get you into gear. We wanna give you a chance to make sure you got everything you need for game day. Thanks, Andy. Of course. This is pretty lit. Now, the cutscenes are pretty cool. They're kind of, uh, what's the word, um, short or, or not as extensive as they used to be. I felt like there was way more cutscenes and it was like all these different questions and answers you can give. But now it kind of just gets to the point. And the fact that I just picked the team that I want to go to instead of doing like a draft or even having a team just select me is kind of odd as well. 
I mean, yes, it is nice to be able to pick the team I want to go to, have all the options, have, you know, different grades and all that. But why can't, you know, there be some type of NFL draft? Why can't there be a combine? I think that would make it a little more interesting. But, hey, it is what it is. Now, once again, I am a member of the Seattle Seahawks number four. You guys have seen on my jersey. And we're just going to swag out just a little bit. You guys have seen I got the sleeve on the left arm. Right arm for business, you feel me? Because I'm right-handed. Left arm for the swag. Even though in real life I got tattoos on my right arm and not my left arm. We got to go left arm business, right arm. No, left arm swag, right arm business. Meaning, right arm, we're going to have nothing. No sleeves, no wristband, no glove. And the left arm, you are seeing that we had that secondary shooter sleeve, the long, full shooter sleeve, and that lime green, which is going to be fire. I got that um, the white wristband as well. I got an all-black, dark, Oakley visor. The Speed Revolution helmet. Now, look at these cleats, by the way. You're going to see them once again. I'm going through the list. I'm not going to go with Jordans right now because I feel like everybody goes with Jordans. And I always select the Jordans. Um, I'm not going to go into 99 overall, you know, gold cleats because I'm not a 99 overall. First of all, you shouldn't even be able to get that. They should let you unlock that once you get 99 overall. Again, Madden slipping up, not doing something, you know, you think they would do. But you guys are seeing right here. Are these cleats a glitch? And this is sped up, by the way, as well. Like I said, you guys have seen all this. I'm just trying to move through this first episode so that you guys can, you know what I'm saying, see what happens throughout, throughout excuse me, the season. But... Is this a glitch? Look at the cleats. Look at the cleats. Why is it that he has the one white cleat on the right and then he has a lime green cleat on the left? Is that a glitch? Comment down below and let your boy know. I think it is, but I'm gonna test it out for now. So what we're gonna do here is we are able to select activities. Now, if you don't know what that means, that means that every single day in between the week of practice to games from games to practice or from game to game basically throughout the week each day is available for you to select to do something you can do a prank war you can do a you know different type of activity with your teammates so you can say hey for instance there's a 40 yard dash one it says too slow that means that someone challenges you to a 40 yard dash you can do that i mean it's kind of corny but i mean i guess that's an activity there's game night uh, which means you can go to the crib you can stream you can play games just like i'm doing right here and there's also a prank war like i said and then there's an open day where you just take the day off so what i'm gonna do is this i'm gonna go with too slow because there are awards as well and these awards um do end up uh accumulating to your player stats so i want to go with too slow plus two speed for the next two games that sounds like something i want to have um, jumping into my next game and I'm gonna do that on Tuesday now Wednesday is another open day we have a game on Saturday yeah game day on Saturday so on Wednesday I'm gonna go and work on some play action um, rollout or power O. probably the power O concept I should pick the rollout to be completely honest um, but we can work on that another another time we can work on that now thursday you guys are seeing we are two days away from game time so i'm gonna go with some agile actually some yoga gets me two agility extra agile training gets me more agile which i want and then on friday i think i'm gonna do like a hydrotherapy right before the game to make sure that i am well rested relaxed my muscles are not tense going into my first game it's a preseason game, but my first game as a professional football player. So you guys did see, you know, player creation, jerseys, hairstyle, everything. Rest days, practice days. I mean, it's going to be a pretty interesting season. I wonder if there's any more cutscenes that are going to be interactive or if they're going to be any more, you know, these little like intricate things like the days that you're off, you can do things. I wonder if there's going to be any more things like that throughout this face of the franchise. But for this episode, we're going to end it right here. And in the next one, you will see the preseason game. So if you guys did enjoy, if you guys did smash that thumbs up button, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm going to see y'all later. And your boy is out.